Hello, yeah. This is my three-part series, uh, the third, fourth, however long it takes to uh, get my room, uh, living room done. Uh, first of all, I am not a professional. I do not do this for a living, so anybody can do this. So what we got here is, uh, this is, I believe, one of the most important parts of how the job turns out is your prep work. So in these corners, we're gonna, I'm going to show you how to put a corner in. And it had this really, really bad trim on it. So uh, I'm going to actually show you how to put a paper corner in. And with this, you need lots of mud. Here's my little tool. Really simple process. It just, you know, be very free with your sheetrock mud. And they, like I said, they'll, they'll take it and slide it down. But I haven't figured that one part yet here. How they do that, I don't know. Main thing is getting it on there. So, you know, do whatever you have to to get it on there. I kind of, but you want to be pretty free with this. Get a good bond going. That way your paper stick, or did part of it, will stick to this. You'll have it pretty thick. And you do it on both sides. That's why you have a uh, your plastic coating down below catch the excess. And hopefully, I'll have enough mud to do this. Just drag it down. And again, this is you know the first step. You want lots of mud when you do this. Cat, what are you doing? Add anywhere you we need some, scrape it off. You can move it over where you need it. This is looking pretty decent right here. Alright, yeah, not, not too bad, not too bad. So here you'll you'll learn kind of use this. This is a what a six inch metal trowel. And you can put, that way you put the mud up in the corners without, and just kind of spread it out. Kind of get it in there best you can. Alright. A little thin there, so I want to add some there. So we're looking pretty good on that part of it. Let me show you a little trick on your paper tape. Now paper tape, where is my paper tape? There it is. Alright. Paper tape, yeah. Now what you want to do is line this up. And best thing to do, easiest route, that way you ain't kind of guess, is bring it up. And just follow it all the way down. About how much you need. Got a guesstimate in it. Right there. Now what you do is you take the trowel, line it up, get it level, and just like that, perfect edge for this uh, application. Another thing that's really neat about this paper tape is this is what makes it easy. On your paper tape, this is made for this, so you bend it in half like this, then just go down it, just like this. All the way down. Now the interesting part. And like I said, I am not a professional. So, easiest route. Go, go up and start in your corner. Get your knife and... It's actually better to clean your knife. And since I'm putting this... One place to put my, you know, one way to clean it. All right, start up in the corner. Very slowly, get it right where you about want it. You can actually use the edge of it and force it down in there. And just 
drag it down. Start over on the other side. Let's take your time with this. And just start bringing it down. And use your finger to get it in the corner. Like I said, just take your time. This is, you know, since I'm filling the end holes at the same time, so it don't really matter. You'll have overnight to <coughs> this mud will dry. And again, you take your time. Bring it on down. you're wanting is that that tape to stick to that mud again you're just dragging it down and you're actually pushing it over in the corner at the same time and again you got your excess mud that, you know you can trial it out however you need to do it let's take your time on this part again just you're pushing it in at the same time both sides there might need different routes of it here we go now you're pushing it into that mud is what you want me down here main thing is just kind of push it that corner in there all right we're almost there probably can't see me now here I'm about about an inch over down on the bottom so what I'm doing is bringing this tape up and basically ripping it off making it even with the bottom bring that in you got it even and again just coming in and Basically scraping the mud off of it. I'll be back. So now you got your inside corner in. It's uh, not looking too bad. And try to fill in your holes. Alright, it has pretty well stuck. I just put my hand in mud. Alright, there you go. Again, you just want to get it to stick the best you can. You can scrape off some of this excess. Just use it other other spots. And kind of this like I said, that's the most important part. And voila! 
It's that easy. Now this I'm going to scrape that off. Take it over to another area and continue filling my holes. All that. These holes, uh, like I said, I will have to, I did this uh, the other day, you might saw that. You just basically got to come in and fill in because the, uh, the sheetrock mud has kind of shrunk, shrunk down in there. I was watching another video where you can actually take your tape and I guess that, you know, you could do this and put it over and then tape over that and that will get rid of your seams. But all you're going to end up with a whole bunch of sheetrock mud and a seam over it and you're going to have to sand. That just looks like that's going to be a lot of sanding unless you're just really good. So that's how you put a quarter bean in. So I'm going to actually take this and uh, you know, bring this down. That way I ain't got a big line on it. Do it like that. And kind of fix my boogers, but there you go. That's how you put a corner side in. And, and again, you know, on this part of it, just take your time and you'll have to come back and remud it and remud it. And then uh, that much closer to getting this project done. I appreciate your time. Bye.